guys, or as they say in Croatia, Bok Dobr Dan, Dobr Došli. This is Wando here, American girl living the Southeastern European dream in the Balkans for four years now. And today we are in Zadar. The lighting situation is so bad. Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> That's so much better now. Okay, so today we are exploring the top things to do in Zadar, whether you are into beaches, nightlife, archaeological, Roman sites like me, if you're a nerd. So, yeah. And we're gonna kick things off by exploring the old town. I mean, duh. This is a very interesting old town because it kind of is like if Dubrovnik and Split had a baby girl named Zadar. Very gender ambiguous name. Like Wando. <laughs> anyway, I feel like the streets are very vast and wide and beautiful and elegant like Dubrovnik. But you have the mix of all of the Roman archaeological remnants and so that gives it that split vibe and it's a perfect mix of both, if you can't make it to both. <laughs> you know what my favorite thing to do is? Is to walk through really busy streets like this that are super congested with so many people. I just think it's the most fun thing ever. This is why I moved to Europe. Just with Dover Den, Castle Seed, Dover Sanfala. You also have to stop for a local drink, which I actually did the day before. I actually do that every day. But I filmed it the day before, so here's a clip from that. So I had to stop, of course, and partake in a local drink. So this is rakia, but this is my favorite rakia. It's called medica, which is honey flavored, and I love it so much. And they gave it to me for free, so even better. You guys know what time it is? It's archaeology time! I'm so excited! I'm at the Roman Forum in Zadar where there's all of this beautifully preserved ancient Roman stuff. Palaces? Fuck, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna jump on Google and tell you. So, basically, Ancient Zadar, which was called Iadera in Roman times, was a Roman colony from 48 BC until the end of the Roman Empire in the 5th century. Does it look like I'm reading from my phone? <laughs> I am. Uh, so a lot of the ruins here are the remnants from that time, which is so cool. Thousands and thousands of years of history stands before me. This forum, by the way, is the largest in Croatia. It's actually comparative with some of the largest in Italy. This is pretty impressive. And I had no idea that this was here. And I bet you didn't either. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if this was the do not enter sign? But I don't think it is. I think I can enter. Look at this beauty. It's so pretty here. These columns are really interesting because during Roman times they were actually used to punish people, I'm sure women who had extramarital affairs and stupid shit like that. Anyway, yeah, they were used to punish evil people back then. You can actually still see the chains on the columns. 
place is probably so freaking haunted. Still see the chains of people probably wrongly persecuted just for like having sex and stuff like that. We can't trust people to punish people for the right reasons, right? Yeah. <laughs> So guys, I don't know if you can see people up there, but that's another thing that you can do. You can go to the top of the tower, St. Anastasia Tower. So as you can see, there are some islands behind me and that is the next thing that you can do in Sadar. I believe the closest island is Uguian. Basically, there's a ferry that goes there every hour. I'm not going to an island while I'm here in Zada because honestly, and this might sound like really, really like first world problems, I'm all island out. I've been to so many islands and all the places I came to before Zada and I actually have a whole Croatian island hop playlist that I'll link to in the description so you can check out all the islands I've been to. So yeah, there's a kiosk at the ferry port. You can buy a ticket there. You can also go on the website Yaturulinia and you can buy a ticket there. Since I'm down by the water, I think it's a good time to talk about the beach, which I was actually at yesterday. So don't mind if I flash back to my time at the beach yesterday. So welcome to Kolovare Beach. This is the most touristy beach probably because it's super close to the old town which the locals actually call Polu Otok. So there's a bunch of other beaches as you're walking here that are smaller, they're more like pebbly. So I definitely recommend checking out one of those because there's a bajillion people here but if you like a bajillion people then it's perfect for you. So now, I'm walking to the fish market. Not just any fish market, but apparently Zadar has the best fish. So good that all of the fish that um, you eat in Dubrovnik is from Zadar. And also, apparently, a lot of restaurants in Italy get their fish from Zadar. So this should be exciting because I love fish. Wow guys, that fish market alone is enough for me to move to Zadar. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So now I am having donut ice cream. Because my friend told me that it's the best ice cream. And Zadar, but like no offense, I think all ice cream kind of tastes the same. Unless it's like Hagen Dazs ice cream, you know? So, this is a nice ice cream place, but it's not like orgasmically life changing. <laughs> can do that I wanted to do I just haven't gotten around to doing it is renting a bike this is a big 
biker city. Well, not like motorcycle, but like riding a bike city. Kind of reminds me of like an Amsterdam, you know? Just everyone riding bikes and there's such vast streets and wide sidewalks. So it's great for riding a bike city. I rest my case. So I'm at the sea organs, it's like the waves come in and it plays musical sounds. Anyway, obviously there's so many people here. My friend told me to come at sunset and I listened to him and I think that was a bad idea. <laughs> I think this is the best spot if you want to hear the organs really well. It's right in front of the little plaque on the ground that says Grad Zada Morske Orku. Yeah. It's really pretty and calming. I just think there's a lot of people here. <laughs> which she said to tell you guys to do, <laughs> is to come to Brazil Cafe, which is right next to the sea organs, and to order a marasquino, which is a, well, I should say a Dalmatian drink. Um, it's created from the distillation of mar marasca, which is like a local cherry. Um, but yeah, so to order a marasquino and watch the sunset um, next to the sea organ. So that's what I'm doing now. Let's do a taste test. It tastes kind of minty. Like cherry and minty. But anyway, I have to say, even though it's super fucking touristy and there's so many people, it is really worth it. I feel like the sound of the organ, very like calming. I'm not into meditation, but I imagine like people who are into meditation would really like the calming sound of the sea organs. So guys, right now I'm at 
Varoshka Pivovara, which is a brewery. But this is the tasting room. I like this place it's a little bit more chill, laid back, not so obvious, but has great beer, great staff. 